I feel like aging has a bad rap. I wanna share with you five beautiful things that I have learned in my 40s so far that are beautiful, uplifting. I'm 46. I like to say my age as much as possible because I want people out there to know that it's not a scary number. So here we go. Number one, the best investment that I can make at this stage in my life is in me. I feel like my entire life I have been investing in others and I didn't realize that investing in myself is equally as important. I'm investing time into doing my skincare. I also invest in my nutrition, making a juice in the morning. I also invest in getting the sleep that I need. I like to go to bed at a good time so that I can get up and exercise. These are small investments that I can make into myself that really are low cost but give me high return. Number two, best things in life are found in the most mundane everyday things. I mean the most mundane things. Like when I make the perfect cup of tea, oof, it just makes me so happy. Like I just mastered making cold foam. Another thing, I found that when you take all of those little moments of happiness, little moments of joy, it adds up to a greater value throughout your day. It eases the mind and eases the heart because you have all these little moments of joy and happiness and the most basic everyday things like the perfect manicure, a good hair day, all those things. That's where true happiness and joy for me at this stage in my life lies. I just want to be happy every little moment that I possibly can. Number three, which is one good choice leads to another. I have to say that making good choices is not just about choosing the obvious thing. Making good choices oftentimes takes courage. It's sometimes stepping outside of your comfort zone. I really feel like in my 40s, I am very, very capable of making good choices, even the hard ones, even the ones that take all my little courage and stepping outside of my comfort zone. The beautiful thing about making good choices is one good choice leads to another to another. It's this gorgeous snowball effect that has profound lasting impact. And I've seen it so many times over in my life. We're at number four, and that is you are never too old to be brave. I think I've talked about this before. I feel like whatever is on your heart to do, you should go for it. Things that I have decided to do in my 40s, I'm pretty sure most people would say, you can't do it, you shouldn't do it, it's high risk. I think it's a really beautiful thing to bet on yourself. And sometimes to bet on yourself, you need to be brave. And I don't think that has an expiration date. I don't think that if you're in your 40s, 50s, 60s, if there's something that's on your heart, you should go for it and go for it with all of your passion and all of your might. Don't stop until you accomplish your goal. I started content creation in my late 30s. The goal was in my 40s, I could have a job where I'm doing what comes natural to me, but I'm also bringing value to others and creating community, and I get to do that full time. It seemed like such a wild thing at the time, but I really believed in it. I put all my passion and heart into it. Here I am, and living that kind of dream that I just saw that could be possible and I get to do that with my family, my best friend. I don't know. All I can say is just never too old to go for it. You're never too old to achieve and accomplish that dream, that goal, whatever is on your heart to do. That brings me to number five, and this is a work in progress for myself. I actually heard this from Viola Davis, and she said, you need to be the love in your life. It resonated with me so deeply, so profoundly. I have to pour acts of love into myself. This is something that I shared with my daughters as well. It has taken me all of my life to learn this, but no matter who is in my life, I have to give myself the love that I deserve. I'm a work in progress on this one. I wanna be the leading lady in my life. So yeah, I'm gonna be over here pouring all the acts of love that I can possibly think of into myself, for myself, by myself. It's totally what I deserve. So I'm glad that I kind of came to this at some point. It just happened to be in my 40s. <laughs> okay, darling, so that's all I've got on this one for now. There's loads of things that I have learned in my 40s, things that I've learned in my 30s and 20s, um, but Right now, these were the ones that were like bubbling to the top and I just want to share what was on my heart with you babes. Anyway, see you on the next one, bye.